the day traders, gold is still falling. It's still in a big sideways move, as I showed you about a month ago or more. And at the start of the war, remember what we were expecting. We thought that it would probably stay around this level, come back here and then go up. Well, it actually made it to the top, right? Which is okay. You're still within the correction of one, two, three. You still have this and this to complete. And at that point, all of you would remember, right? A good friend of mine who was on YouTube reminded me that there is a war going on. So the goal is going to go to heaven. Well, it's not going. So let's go. What you're looking at, by the way, good day for those of you who don't know me, this is Anne Mangal, and you can watch more of my videos to understand how we do this. The method is called wave analysis. It's based on past wave theories that existed, and it's something I've created in my own. So if you see anywhere anyone says wave theory or wave analysis, they're probably using mine. So what you're going to look for is how this method works. This method is a forecasting method, and it is amazing. It will help you forecast the market regard, regardless of what is happening in the world at the moment. Because you're looking at the bigger picture and then the smaller picture. So let's start, let's start with gold and then I'll go back to dollar index. What we are looking for in gold here. Once you, you we traded that up, you can trade it up in a lower time frame. You always trade in a lower time frame. So you see every possible move up as it's going, and you see every possible move down as it's coming, right? So you could remember when we had this, this was a nice flag for a sell. We call the cell, we call this cell, and we call that cell. So now you're looking at this, this is a buy we call on Friday. You could have, I think any one of you follow me would have seen this one, one, two, three. You can buy it from here, but literally we bought it from here or we bought it from here and you can buy from here. See, so those are places you can buy from. Right now we're still in a consolidation, but this is making a correction upwards, which means it can go up more Come back here, go more, come back, but it's going to drop to the bottom. Now, let me show you why we think that is going to happen. And based on the specific patterns that I'm looking at. So the pattern I'm looking at is this one. We've got to move up. We've got a one, two, three move down and we've got this correction upwards. So we, I'm expecting one, two, three down. We made one. We're literally making the two here now. It might be equal or bigger or smaller than this. It doesn't matter. And then we will expect this to drop to about this level, which would complete this flat one, two, three. After which, if that happens, if that happens, then we should have a move back up to the top here, which would complete this flat. And when that flat is complete, you go to one higher time frame and you said, well, okay, if we're looking at this structure this way, you've got to move down here and you've got a very corrective move like this going back to the top there and then breaking this top, then it's likely that this is the B part of this entire structure. So we should come back to the bottom here. After which it could be an up move and it will be an up move because we broke the top in the B wave. So gold will go up, but it's not going up now. That's the thing you have to understand. Now it's going to come down and it will even go back up again, but that will not be the big up move that is taking off. Because every time they come in to retest the top, they will come back to retest this low eventually and then go. Now, the down move might be like this. It might be fast. It might be slow. It doesn't matter. You, you start understanding the, the direction is going to go to higher time frame, and then you trade that in the lower time frame. So what I show you in my webinars is called analysis. I'm just showing you the analysis of the trade. I'm not giving you trades. I'm not telling you to take a trade here or take a trade there, because that is something we do in our trading room. And we do that every day, five times a day. Five, six times a day, we're in our trading room and we're looking at these trade setups and we're deciding where is the next immediate trade for the next couple of hours. So even if gold is in a downside, we might be in a buy going up because we are buying into the correction, which we think is pretty huge. Right? I still think this is a buy setup forming here. So whenever we get the entry or the, based on our strategy, we could take that trade up. Now, it's not going to be a trade that is coming here. It's likely going to be a trade that might just come there and come back up. And this is where trade management comes in. When you understand the, 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 the distance that trade could go, the possibilities of how it could develop, you understand how to manage the trade you're in. There are trades you're going to keep and there are trades you need to get out of. So again, we would look at this as a correction. And at some point in this correction, let's hope by the end of this week, this correction is finished and you can get a very amazing move going down here. Now, can you trade this for the entire week? Yes. If you have the skill level and the ability to understand the smaller patterns in a lower time frame, you can trade it. 
Now, the reason I started with Goal is because somebody asked me to do an update on Goal, which I haven't done. So I hope this helps you. This is the very good update on Goal. It's not separate from the webinar, and I hope you like it. I will do an update on a number of trades, including CAD, including Yen. I think I did an update on Yen also. You should go watch it. That is an amazing one. I will do a few more updates and a few more very nice trades that I see, including some cryptocurrencies that I think might be ready for investment very soon. Right? I told you I'll do it very, some time back, about a month, but they were not ready for the investment as yet. It's going to be investment, which means you're just going to be buying into them and you can hold them for like six, seven months, maybe a year. I will follow up. I will do follow up on those so you will know what we are doing with them and how we're, when we think is the right time to exit, how to move your trades and all of that. So basically, I'll do a step-by-step -step on those. It'll be about three cryptos pairs you'll choose, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so let's go. Let's start. If Again, if you enjoy these videos, please click a like. Please share the videos. Please you know, make your comments. And you can ask questions. If the question is something I think worth merit, I will answer to it. All right, so let's go. Dollar index. Dollar index is still in an up, up move. I showed you that some time back. If, you, if you're seeing this video for the first time, go back and watch my long-term trades at the start of this year. At the start of every year, I do it. So you can go and check the forecast where we're looking, but you will see this down move we forecast and you will see we forecast that up move. So we're in an up move right now. Remember, it doesn't go in a straight line. It's called wave analysis. So at some point you get deeper corrections. That is based on specific patterns that exist. Now, we, I'm not saying the chart will make this pattern. I'm saying the chart will make a pattern, some kind of a pattern. My job is to identify what pattern I think is forming at this moment and how I can take advantage of that. Now, if I'm good at recognizing that pattern, there's a good chance I will be good at taking advantage of it. And you can take advantage of it and all my traders take advantage of it. Now, not all my traders will get all the trade because we have different time zones and we do six different uh, again. We, we start from the Asian session, we go right down to the end of the New York session where we have about six live sessions that we do. But most of them are doing very well. So let's go. We're in a correction here and that correction should go up. But I don't think it's ready to go as yet because I can tell you every time it breaks the low, we buy. We bought this. We realized it wasn't going. We figure out that there's a flat there. There's a buy here to go back to the top there. And now there's a chance. It could make a new high, but because it's going so slow, even if I get into any buy, I'll be very cautious. So for me to get into buy now, I would want it to break out of this structure, make another consolidation, and then confirm the upside is starting. You can go with this is all a correction, right? One, two, three, and this is taking off slowly, right? That is possible. But I don't think that is what it's doing. So there's a good chance that this could come back to the low here, make a new low, and then go. So we are prepared for both options. If I see any one of those two options forming based on the patterns, we will sell and then we will buy. If it's actually over and they're taking off and this here is just a bigger correction for upside, then this would likely break out, make a flag somewhere here, and that would confirm that we're totally going up, which would give us a buy setup, which we will take and will manage correctly, see? So right now you just have to wait for one of those confirmations. Let's go, silver. Silver like gold is in that big structure. You can come back and you can look at it. There's a big structure forming here, big correction. And you can already tell that this is the biggest flat within the whole structure. There, are, there This is a sharp move down. There's a big flat in this one going up here. There's kind of a big flat in this one coming down here. You can make an argument for that. We might be getting a bigger flat here as well. So what I'm looking for is whether this is going to come back to the low or whether we will consolidate in this range and go to the top. We're still in the sideways move, right? So it's consolidating and it's not ready to go. So we're in the four hour. And on the four hours, you can see that this could go higher. The reason we were buying this, actually the buy should have been lower. That was, I put that on, but on Friday, I wasn't in my trading room. I had, uh, there was something happening. It couldn't be there. So the entry order for my traders would have been somewhere here because we were looking for this to break out. And if that break out, that's where you put it. But when you get this in the drop lower, we would buy it here for this move. So my traders are definitely in that one. And there's another buy setup forming here. Now, what you have to watch for is this now. This is a flat, see? If this is going to break down from this point, if it is gonna go down from this point, we will sell because we'll expect it to retest the low. But if it goes higher, which means if this here, consolidate makes the next move up you'll have to buy this with caution 
because it's coming to this top, but that will be a flat pattern. Come back to the bottom here and then go. So if it comes to the top, we would look at this as a flat and one more up, right? If it starts to drop from this point, if it starts to drop from this point, which means if it comes lower here, any flag here would be a sell. So again, which one we are gonna get? By Tuesday, we might know that. We might not even know that on Monday. But for now, on Monday, this is a buy setup with caution. Again, that is what we would do. We'll go with that buy. And if it comes lower, we'll not take it. If this you know, makes something like this and come here, you take the buy somewhere here, going up. By the time it breaks that top, you get the hell out of it because this is gonna drop. Again, it all depends on how the consolidation behaves. So that is why I can't give you trades or tell you buy here or sell here. We do that in our trading with updating the charts every couple hours, knowing that, okay, there's a short-term buy here for the next two hours, or there's a short-term sell here for the next two hours. That's what we do. So let's go. Gold I already did for you. And let's go to this one we were looking for. This one we were only looking for sell setups. Literally, we've been selling it and selling it, and we will keep looking for sell setups. When it starts to consolidate or correct, of course, we will not buy it. We'll wait for these consolidations to finish. So I'll wait for this to do something like this, and then we'll look for a sell setup, wait for that, look for sell, wait for this, look for sell setup, come back to this low, and then one more up. So can it, would it come like this, or is it going to come much slower? We'll figure that out as we go. But right now, we're looking only for sell setups on this. Euro? So let's go to the euro on the one hour. And this is what you're looking at. Euro broke the top. So we were looking at this. If you remember last week, I think this was here and we we're like, it's going to go here. It's going to come back here and then we're going to look for an up move, right? So it did break the top, which is okay. Once it broke the top, we started selling it and we started selling it and we sold it and we sold it, exit the trade. This one exited somewhere here, then you sold it here. We exit somewhere here, we re enter, we exit here. Why we keep exiting this? Because at some point here, this can start to take off. So you've got to be careful. Well, now we can see it's making a more complex pattern. So the simple pattern would have been one, two, three, and then go up. But if you, you can see how pattern changes, and this is one of the important topics we do when we do the, the training session. When I do my live course, this is one of the things I teach you, how complex patterns change, simple patterns change to complex patterns. When you start doing this, you're making a one, two, three. That's a complex pattern because I don't think this is all the correction. This will become a sell setup back to about this low, right? But what happens when you do that is that you start finding that you should go back and retest that top. And if it makes a really big correction here, that is for a drop. So how long can it stay in that correction? Well, they can stay very long. That would be a four hour correction. It can stay there for a very long time. Look at this one. Before they drop and they went right back up. Now there are two ways you can look at that. There are more than two ways. You can either decide that this here is the equivalent of this one. Remember, I told you we we're gonna get one of that. So you could put that as a running flat there. And that means if we make a big correction here, we're going to go break the low now, low of the daily and weekly structure. Right, so where is the weekly structure low? It's right here. You can put a line. Now, again, you might say, well, that sounds like a crazy thing. How do you know this thing is going to go come here and break that low eventually? No, it could go back and break the top. Maybe. Maybe it could. But based on the pattern that we have right now, that is very, very unlikely to happen. Now, please, none of you don't go and tell me that if it breaks the low, you will stop trading, like the guy who said that on the yen, right? That if this yen, when we were here, the same thing we did, we looked at this correction, we looked at this, and we forecast that this one is going to go break the top. It was here, and I said, okay, guys, we're breaking out of this structure. We look for this top. Look for it to break this top. Not, the th not that one that I have there, this one here. This one. That top. And he wrote, if it broke the top, he'll stop trading. I think he should join my group. I believe he will. He's making his mind up. He'll join my group very soon to learn to trade. It's break this top. And we remember I said, it could still go break that top. So we, we're still buying. We're not selling this yet. We're still buying. As you can see, we have a lot of buy setups here. Buying, buying, buying. And we are going to watch this top because it could break that top. Not necessarily that it would break the top, but it could break the top. And if it breaks that top, again, I said, it's going to form a running flat. Now, let me show the running flat because I think some traders got confused and said it's a regular flat because we didn't break this low. It's not about breaking this low. This here will be a regular flat. One, two, three. 
But if we break that top, we are breaking this top here, see? And that means you're gonna have one, two that broke the top, come back here for three. You don't necessarily have to break the low and you can go back up from here, see? So if it breaks that top, we absolutely know with 99.9% .9 guarantee that when we come back here, we're gonna go back up. Because this pattern is one of the most accurate pattern you have the running flat. It always plays out. I've hardly seen, I don't remember seeing a running flat that didn't play out. So it always works that way. For whatever reason, the market moves that way, it moves that way. I don't know whether that's a signal to somebody or not, but that's what we always see. If you go back and look at all the running flats, you can find. So it will come back here. Sometimes they make a long drawn out running flat, which means you get it like this, looking like this. Come back here and then go. So this could work its way up like to the top, then drop here and then go an equivalent of this. In this case, I think that is not going to happen. Structurally, it doesn't look like that. When it structurally happens like that, it's different, right? So we will hardly break this top if we break that. But as of now, we're still forecasting the break of this low when we break this top because we haven't broken that top. So you can't make a forecast for something that you don't know if it's going to happen. So when we break the top, then we change the forecast into a running flat. For now, it's a regular flat. And if you look at this in here, what you're getting is a consolidation. So this was a buy. Again, I put this on Thursday. My trader should have got it here on Friday. They should have got it lower, right? So you get that trade lower to the top. You exit the trade. Now we have very good exit strategies. I mean, really serious good exit strategy in our trade management program. Something a lot of traders are copying now. You can see, you might see it in a few more gurus talking about trade management. They probably got it from my group and some of them are still in my group, right? So you will look at this and there's a good chance this will have to come back here for a flat. After which there is another buy setup, right? Can we sell this coming down for this piece? Absolutely. But you would have to know when to exit it and how to exit it so that you take profit out of it and then we look for a buy setup. And as of now, any sell setup we get, we will take. Even if it becomes a break-even trade or a very small loss, we will take the sell setups because one of them is going to drop really, really hard. Why, how, when, you don't have to know that. You have to know that it's going to happen based on the patterns and it will happen. And when it happens, Everybody going to say, oh, because of the war, everybody's running to, to the yen for safe heaven. All the gurus on TV are going to say, yen has become the safe heaven for investors. They're buying up the yen. Yen is getting stronger. Look at this. It's amazing. It's all because of the war. Hey, the war is still going on. And they said that when it started, that yen and Swiss and gold are going to become safe heavens. Go back and watch the news. If you don't believe me, you don't have to trust me in that. And believe me, you, the news was there. You, could, you, you heard it. And I was like, no. I was like, no, no, guys, don't listen to that. That's nonsense. Yen is going up. It's getting weaker. The dollar yen is going up. Then that's weakness in yen. Will it come back down? Absolutely. We forecast that way before the war started. I forecast that at the start of the year that it's going to go up there and then it's going to come back down. So will it come back down because all the investors are running the yen? Maybe. Did they know then that the war was going to, did I know then that the war was going to happen? No, didn't. That's the point. You don't have to listen to the, the immediate news that is going on now and believe that's what's moving the market. The market moves regardless of what the news is, but they will use those moments to make the movements. Movements that are prepared way ahead in time can, be, can happen during an event. Right? Remember when we were telling you about the crash that is going to come and we don't know what is going to be the crash. I thought it was the US election. Turned out it was coronavirus. Could you forecast the coronavirus coming? No, nope. but could you forecast the crash? Absolutely, that's the difference. So again, we are here. I'm telling you, this thing is going to drop really hard very soon. You don't have to trust me. Watch my videos, keep watching it, watching it, and you will see it happen just like I told you it was coming up and you saw it happen. So keep an eye out for this. This is, this is not this, uh, the drop as yet. Like this wasn't the drop, this was upside. You saw that, we literally bought this. We bought here, we bought here, we bought here, we closed. I think we closed somewhere in here. We were expecting this running flat for up again. And that's why we had the entry there. But that was Thursday, Friday, you should have bought here. And you can buy here and you close here and you put an entry there. So now we're waiting for this drop. That drop is going to happen. I'll put the entry here because that is showing you that I want to buy it. So when it comes here, we might sell this. And then if it goes back up, we buy. But what if this keeps dropping? Good for you. You should be in the trade if you know how to trade it. If you don't, stay away from it. Let's go.
Bang. So I showed you the euro. I think I showed euro. We did euro. Yep, euro would be short term sell, then upside. Bang. Yep, bang, we sold. You can see that this close. We put an entry here because you're still getting sell set up on the pound. This is still a flat forming here. That means this will drop, break this low. This could be all the correction. And if you were following me again, remember I said this is going to go up. We bought that and started to correct. We actually bought this, bought this, both thinking it's going to go up. Then there was a sell here for the break of this low. That became a break even trade. It never broke the low. It went up. We didn't get this. There was no trade. There was no trade set up to take it. We knew it was going to go up. We just didn't get the setup. I also thought that it would first break the low before it go up. It turns out a contracting flat. When you get contracting flats, you will miss most trades because contracting flats, we don't forecast. You can only see it after the fact. You can't forecast a contracting flat because you'll make it yourself and you put yourself in a lot of trouble. So right now, this here is making consolidation and this consolidation should drop. And very likely this could drop and break the low. So there's a very good sell setup coming on here Monday morning or London session, you could break this low, you could go very much to the downside. This thing could fall like crazy. And I mean like crazy. Because literally, you see this small one here? See how that drop? Because you had a flat here already. See? That's why that dropped. You had a correction already there forming. That is why it dropped. We have a correction here already. Who says this can to repeat that drop? You'll have one, two, three, make a new low, and then start the up move. So you want to focus on that cell. Don't lose sight of it. I'm not saying it's going to drop now. This thing might take uh, six months to get to the bottom. It could get there in a single day. It all depends on how fast the market is ready to move. I don't know that, but I know it's going down. So if we take cells, we will be, we are selling from here. You can see all those are cell setups, right? But this was a cell setup coming down. This is going to be a sell setup. After a correction like that, it is good to look for a sell setup. Aussie. This one is easy. I think you all know. You can see the buy setup. You can see what we're doing. And watch this structure. Let me show you. I think I did the Aussie pairs, all the Aussie pairs. There's a, if you're watching my video for the first time, you haven't seen, go back, watch sometime last year. I did all the Aussie pairs. Look for that video where we were going up and I said they will do an impulse like this. They'll make a big correction here, which you can trade. And then eventually it's going to start back to the upside, right? It's pretty easy. It's not that difficult to do if you understand it and you know the patterns and you understand how they behave. Now we're looking at this and we are breaking out of that structure, which means once you break out, you keep buying because this could take off very much. There will be deep corrections, yes, but you're not sure this is the one taking out as yet. Don't be confident about this thing. It has to break that up and confirm that it's taking out. As long as you stay in here, it could still retest the low. So although we are buying here, we're buying with caution and we're keeping an eye on it that there's at any time it could drop, make a new low and then go back up. All of that will still be part of a more complex pattern. So what is it right now on the top there? Consolidation for a buy, right? This is still making, this as far as I see is still consolidation for maybe one more like that. If this starts to drop and make a flag here, we will sell. We'll absolutely sell. We'll sell for a deeper correction or we're going to sell for the possibility of it dropping break the low. Now, if I see there's a lot of changes or a lot of very good setup somewhere Tuesday, Wednesday, you may want to set your, your, um, set your setting on YouTube to get notification because if there's a lot of settings, they're not really good setups right now. The charts are still moving. But if they're good setups, especially for reversal, like big moves, big moves of the pound to the downside, big moves of Euro, big moves in Aussie and New Zealand, what I would do, right, if, if I see that happen, what I'll do is I'll do an update, a quick update for you guys. So you would have, you would see the patterns clearer. Right now, there is no buy or sell set up here. It's just consolidating. This was a buy. This is just consolidating. It could go up. It's hardly going to go down. I don't think they're going to drop from there. This is too deep a pullback. So it's probably going to stay here. Go make a new high. When they're going to drop, you're going to see a sharp move. Wait for the flag sell. So if I see that set up where it's turning, I'll probably post it. Now the buys are very dangerous. Well, dangerous in terms that at some point you're going to get a correction, right? This move will correct itself. So if you're buying into this at the top here, this is the top of this move, right? It can still go. But what I mean danger is that you have to buy with caution and close the trade if it doesn't go. Now, if you have the skill level and the understanding of how to do that, then great. If not, you know what to do. New Zealand, let's go. This was a perfect buy setup. 
break the top, take profit. Now, this is still in the downtrend. We haven't broken out of the structure. See this? We're still in this one. And there's a very, very high probability that this comes back here. Because this up move is really, really, really slow. Normally, when they're taking off, they would make a flat here, but then they would take off really sharp. This one is going really slow. So there is a chance that exactly it could go a little more. They could probably make a consolidation, go like this, come to about this level, and then drop. Right? If it breaks out good for us, we will buy this all the way to the top. So the question now is, which is the higher probability, the breakout or the downside? my experience telling me the downside i might be wrong on that i'm not trading that i'm just making that's more of a wild guess on my experience downside we will just trade whichever one comes because it can break out it can drop again once you see the setup for that the trade will be ready right now what do we have right now you still have upside see right now short term that's a buy so one more impulse just like this one we'll take it somewhere in here to the top take your profit off because if it's going to turn from there you would be looking for the sell setup now, there are two of them that I'm pretty confident has bigger trades to the downside. That is the Pong and the New Zealand. Aussie still looks upside. There is no chance that Aussie is showing us anything that it could drop, but it could drop. Euro is making a bigger consolidation. Euro will drop. It just doesn't have a sign that this is the drop that will go. So there's a good chance Euro may make some more small up and down before it drops, consolidate a little more. We'll see which one works. Focus on Pong, focus on New Zealand, focus on Aussie. CAD is coming back down. Remember I did this, that CAD is eventually gonna break out. So let me show you the structure again. Nothing has changed. It's still within the consolidation. The one I showed you when I make was this one here, right? That this was gonna break out and there's a good chance it could take off. It did break out, it didn't take off. No big deal. It didn't break this top even. So we are coming down without breaking that top. That makes the pattern very complex. That makes one, and I also explained that, that if they don't go, you now we are stuck with a very complex pattern. One two, three. This is the biggest flat in the whole structure. So there is some more downside here, but then this has to go back up. And if it goes back up, we will be looking at it as a one, two, three. And I think the rest of it, you can do it yourself if you're following me. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. See, all you need to do to trade correctly is count up to three. If you can count up to three, sometimes up to five, you can trade correctly. See, it's pretty easy, but can you do it if I take everything out? That's the point. When you draw it, when I draw it, it's about visual. Can you see and identify the patterns correctly? If you can't, again, you can learn it. It's learnable. We teach you to do that. So let's go. We did yen already. I'll show you where you have to learn to count up to five when you go to Swiss. See, here is where you have to learn to count more than three because you start in getting a lot of three wave structures, but then you will get five wave structures as well. Let's go to the one and let me show you the five wave structures. See, you have to learn to count to five here, right? This is one, two, three. I thought this one was gonna go up there, but then it make four. We also assume that this could drop. This would be a good sell here for one more down, which is one more like this down. And then you're gonna get this up, which you will get. You're getting this here now, you're getting a running flat. And then you're gonna get one more down. So you have one, two, three, but internally you're gonna have five. See, so sometimes in rare situation, you have to be able to count to five. If you can do that, good. So I'm looking at this as the possible running flat, which means this will go up one more, a little more there. I'm not looking for a buy here. And then I would assume that this makes a running flat. And if this gives me a sell setup here, we're selling. If I get a sell setup like that, we're selling. And we're selling to come back to this low all the way back to the bottom here, right? The two things, two ways we're gonna look at. It. Either it just comes back here and then go back up. We're still in this consolidation or they actually come down like this, which means they come all the way to the bottom here. Then we would look at this as the flat and this goes up, see? So which one is it? I don't care, I'll be selling this. And then when it comes here, if I see the turn, we're buying it back to the top. If, if it continues to go, we will continue to trade it downwards. But once it breaks this low again, just like the end, once it breaks the low, we're gonna be looking for the upside. Now, if you look at that and you had no clue, you have no clue what I'm saying there. You need to learn wave analysis. I'm gonna make it simple for you. Look at this piece here. You see one there? You see that's complex two pattern there? You see that complex one in there? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Once it came back down, 
everyone that came back down is an up move that is could make that big one. So we have one, we're doing up, down, up, down, up, down. We have to come back here. See, we have to come back like this last one here. Let me just erase that again. You have to get this last piece down here. See that last piece down there? Once it comes back down, once this comes back down here, it's up. See this piece up here? Took off like a rocket. One, two, three. This will be one, two, three. This will be one, two, three. And then you will have this. Now, what happens here? Does this, does this stop short of the top and drop some more? Well, then you have to look at one more up, right? Is it going to drop more? I think it potentially it could. This one actually dropped, right? See this one here? You got to move down. You got that. You drop. You got to move down. If this comes back here and then go back there, this could be a perfect flat for one more down. We know yen has to go down. We know CAD looks like a big consolidation. It's going to go down, up, then down again, possible. See? So can this actually draw back to this level? Well, we will see. You'll be in something like this. And can this actually go up afterwards? Well, you can look at all of this as a big consolidation. This is your first impulse up. So we'll have to wait until the pattern completes itself, tell us what it's doing, and then we will get the trade. So go back to your trade of the day is you look for a sell setup once this go back a little higher. Can this one actually take off to break that top? I don't think so. I'm not looking. If, if that is going to happen, we have to look at this as a contracting flat. So I'm not looking at that as a contracting flat. Now, what will prove that I'm wrong and that is a contracting flat? This has to go up out of this structure, make a flag here. And then I said, you know what? Let's go with that as a contracting flat, one, two, three. And this is going up. For now, it's not a contracting flat. Again, we don't forecast contracting flats because you're going to deceive yourself. If you do that, you will start looking for a buy, whereas you should be looking for the sell. If the sell doesn't happen, then you see the buy setup and you say, okay, we'll go with the contracting flat. Let's go. You're awesome. Euros is going to retest the low. Now, I would tell you this one got me because I didn't think this here was all the consolidation. It's too sharp. I thought we'd make a running flat break there and then come down. Turns out that's all the consolidation. If you were selling good, we weren't selling this because the first thing, it is very slow. If you sell it, you get break even trades only. You can look at that. We were selling a lot of other different things. You don't really have to sell this. If, the, if, the, if, if, if you see one euro trade is going down, but it's not going down the way you want it to go, you don't think it's aggressive. You can get a trade in and stay long enough with it. We would close this trade very often. Then what you can do is trade any other pair that has setups, any other Euro pair or any other Aussie pairs that has these setups, see? Or trade the Euro or the Aussie, which is what we were doing. So we'll just watch this <clears throat> to give us a clue as to what it's doing. And then go now. We can look at this a number of ways. This is still going down, which means this is going to be, that's all the correction. And this one is going to go break out of the structure, break the low, continue to go, right? So there are a number of ways you can look at this. You can make an assumption that this here is a running flat and it's going to go back. You can make an assumption that this here is the flat. This piece here is all the flat, right? This is all the flat. And we're going to go break the low, take this off, take this off. And it's going to go break the low. As, as of now, both of those look perfect. Right? We don't know that. So what we're going to do is we're going to trade this down. Once it breaks out of that small consolidation, break the low, make flag, we will start to trade this. I'd prefer if we get a deeper correction, then we start trading it down. If it reverses at any point, make a flag, we'll start to trade it back up to the top. So we'll have to wait for the confirmation of which one of those is going to happen in the four hour. And what that means is that if this breaks this low here, make any flag, we can start selling again. And I mean a bigger flag, not just these small one hour flags. Bigger correction, sorry. There is a good chance that instead of this going down, we end up with a more complex pattern here. Right? See like this? A more complex pattern. If we get a more complex pattern here, great. That would be up, down. Once it comes back here, we sell. Buy back. Once it comes back there, we sell. And one of this is going to drop. So we only have two pieces. That's impossible to make a forecast for complex pattern using only two pieces. We can't even assume that it's going to make a third one up because this has three pieces in it. This has one, two, three, and this is only one piece. So we will make that decision when we see something forming here that this is telling us it's going to either go back up or consolidate in here to drop. You're in New Zealand, same here. I think they will. This is too small, but there's a good chance they might retest the low before they go back up. Remember, we started buying this thinking this could go. 
and that is because we broke the low. So any up move, we will buy. Again, what if this consolidates? All I want this to do is drop through the bottom. We're not selling it. And then we look for buy setups. If it becomes a bigger flat here, it will drop one more, but then it's going to go up. The big picture doesn't change in this one. There is no change in that big picture. It will go back up. This is a very simple one. This is not as complex as the euro was. This is very simple. One, two, three. So this will go back up. Complete this pattern, and then it will start to come down. The question is whether it's going to make one small four-hour move down a little more. There's still a lot to go before it goes up. So when we're looking at whether this piece is finished, every time it breaks the low, you start buying. So at this point, it could be more complex. They could just break the low and start going up. They could probably just come back here, go back there, come back here, drop, break the low, and then go back up. You're still within a small range. This is the bigger low. So that is OK. We just leave it now as it is. There is no buy setup. We're not interested in the sell. There is a sell setup here. You can literally see that. There's a sell setup here, maybe one drop. If there's nothing else to sell in the news, if, they, if they lose, the news, New Zealand dollar is a buy, go buy the New Zealand dollar rather than sell this. But if we get a really good risk to reward in it, we might as well sell it, right? You're a cat. Good. This one is a good sell. You can see that sell set up there. Perfect. There's a running flat. It's easy. You got a running flat. You got to sell. You sell. There's a bigger flat there. There's a sell set up there. Friday, that was Friday. I wasn't in the room. This is also making a complex pattern here. So I think this will probably come here, go back up there and drop one more to make a running flat. I think this would eventually be a very bigger running flat, but it might be more complex than that because we also have this piece. So this is like the B part coming down. Eventually, you're going to get a sharp move up there. Do this. Come back down. Go back up. Do this. And then drop. See? So every sell you take, you have to take off the profit because the chances are it's going to go back up. Now, I would be watching take off that. Now, I'll be watching for a buy setup like this move up. So let's see if we get that. Euro Swiss is a sell, but that would be a break even trade because it didn't go very far. It's still a sell setup. Keep watching for the current consolidation in the sell. We are consolidating in this one. So, two things either this is a small consolidation and it eventually goes back up or it comes deep enough, go back up, it will still go back up and then drop. Well, this you just have to wait. Right now we're selling this B waves correction downwards. Well, you call it B waves a correction downwards. Euro yen, we're looking for buys and we will keep buying this because we have to break this up. Again, I showed you the structure in the daily, why it will go break the top. See, and it, go back and watch this webinar because it's quite interesting. And I said to you, even if it comes and break all these low very sharp, it is still a buy setup. I literally shared that, and I'll show you why I said that. So if you haven't seen the video, you should go back and watch it. See this one, how we break the low very sharp here. Look what happened, took off to the top. And that's exactly what's happening here. So we're going to break this top. I don't know how high it's going to go. Again, like the dollar yen, we're not expecting them to break. Let me go through the weekly. We're not expecting them to break that weekly top, right? I'm just expecting it to break this top, which is it's already there, break that top, and then come back down. Now, can they go all the way up to this top and then come back down? If you know wave analysis or you know patterns, you will immediately say, well, sure, I can see that, right? So we keep buying. Go back to the one arm and we're still buying. It is still a buy setup. Now, the way you can see the divergence is, is showing you that momentum is dying out. There's a good chance that this is coming down a little, that this piece here makes a flat. Go here, come back here, go there. Break the stop slightly and start dropping. This could be a very, so once we break the top, every sell setup we will take, we will keep buying it until it breaks the top. So you can see the buy here, there is a buy here, there is a buy here, there's a buy here, there's, there's a lot of buys in this thing, as long as you understand how to trade it. Euro pound, that's a sell, but you close the trade somewhere here, it's making a bigger correction. You can literally see we're making a bigger correction here, chances you're gonna go back up there and then drop, so you get a sell setup here or a sell setup from the top here going down. So that'd be another sell setup, right? Pound Swiss. Okay, take this off. We're making a big consolidation here. You can literally see it. It's just a big consolidation, but I believe it will drop and break the low. This is the pattern we're in, right? We're kind of dropping, going sideways, dropping, going sideways to the top there and then drop again. So I could see that this might come back here, but the chances are they could come here. All right, we did break the low which is a buy setup, but this is not going up aggressively as I expected to. 
And if it's not going up aggressively, it's correcting here, then the chances are it could drop. Now you'd have to watch this two ways, right? Because these moves are sharp. There's a lot of sharp moves in it. If this turns out to be a flat here, we'll sell it. But if it goes back to the top, we may, may or may not get any buy setup on this piece here, right? I don't think this is the, the correction. It could be that this is the correction and this is the top and we're dropping. But if it goes back sharp to the top, we'll be stuck sideways here for a while. We'll make a new high and then drop because there are too many sharp ways there, right? So let's hope that we get a flat here and then that's a sell setup to test the low. Pankad, that's a sell setup. You can see we already had the sell. We were looking for the sell setup from the top, but there was no setup. This is the first sell setup you have. This is the second sell setup you have, right? And it's going. So where is this going? Well, I think we're breaking out of that structure and we're literally gonna go much more, right? If you break out of this structure, you could drop quite a lot, right? I don't know how far and how deep it's going to drop, but we'll keep our eyes on it. It's breaking out of the structure, which means somewhere in here, this pattern is gonna get either very complex or something in the pattern finished already. We'll have to relook at the entire pattern. I will, at some point, let's see, let's see where this stops. This will have to go back up. It will have to go back up very sharp. It will have to go back up as a correction. So trading sell setups at the bottom here, you'll have to be very, very, very careful now. If you keeps if you get a flag, sell it, take off profit. Pause. This is the amazing sell we got. We got that one during the news drop, close trades, enter, close trades. This is a sell setup here. This one actually dropped nice. There's another sell setup. You close that sell setup here. When it starts to consolidate, you close that. We're making a bigger consolidation here, and this is another sell setup. This could go quite a lot, to, just like the pound dollar. This one has a potential to go quite a lot. We broke out of this structure and this is the bigger structure, see? So first we have to break this low to see, get one, two, three. And then we will decide if they come all the way to this low, break this low to figure out if this is one, two, three, or if it stops short here and go back up. Because if they stop short after breaking this low here and go back up, then this becomes the flat in the middle. So you'll have to have one more of that up going up back like this, breaking that top, coming back here and then go. So which of, that is two simple patterns I gave you. Those are very simple patterns. It might be much more complex than that, but because we know all the patterns, we always forecast the simple patterns. You don't forecast the complex patterns. Here is a good example. When you get one, two, and you get this, you know you're gonna make one more down to at least break this low. And then you will have to go back up for a move like that. So, but then it, you see how much more it dropped? So if I was making that forecast live and I would say to traders, hey guys, remember this is the weekly chart. Watch it to break this low and then go back up. It broke the low here, but then it dropped one more. That's about four weeks. It dropped one more. That's another four weeks. It dropped one more. That's another. So it went up back, but only after a month that I told you that it's gonna happen. Traders freaked out for that month period, people go crazy on YouTube, say, oh my God, look, he said it's gonna go back up, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Just like the yen, and then boom, it's there, right? See, patterns do, you just have to understand these patterns. And if you understand them, then you, you, you don't, it, it's not that complex. Again here, once we break this low, two things could happen. It come break the, the low here, or it could literally go back up, making this the flat. If that becomes the flat, then you have to have one of this going back up, which this is pretty sharp on the higher time frame. Go back up there, come back down here to complete this flat. And when you complete this flat, you're gonna get that move up there. And now you'll have one big flat here. That is, that is normal. You want me to show a big flat like that? Those are very common patterns. Okay, we don't have it here. You'll have to go to another chart. Let me do that very quick. Pick the ID, ICD, IDC, sorry, you're gonna find it. And you can see those complex patterns. Look at this one here. See how complex this is? Look at this pattern here. But then it went up. It came in this way, it come down this way, and it went up that way. So look at this pattern here. You, you remember this one I showed you? That one took a long time too. Look at this complex one here, right? So you can see them and you know that, but what you're looking for is these big ones, which is where we're in here. Now we're in a big one forming here. So come back to your one hour trade of the day. The trade of the day is a sell setup. We're gonna trade it, trade it until it breaks the first low. And the first low is quite a while away. You still have a couple hundred pips. It's gonna drop below this a couple hundred pips. I think it will drop below that low. 
On the one hour, that's a very good trade. Literally, that's a very good trade. You're putting an entry here, you're putting a stop here, you're going for this trade. And then we don't know how low it's going to go below the low. If you're looking for the 270, which is a 90% chance it's going to go to, which is our target most of the time, you're going to fib this. And there's a 90% chance it's going to come to this level before it goes back up. Don't question that. We have tested it already. You can do a thousand of them. 900 of them will come to this before they go back up if they're turning in the corrective structure. If it's an impulsive structure, it'll go way beyond that. But the turning point very often could be here. So that's tested. You can test it for yourself. Let's go. This is the Pang Oz. Let's Pang Oz, Pang New Zealand. Pretty much that was a perfect cell we got there. You can see the same pattern we're looking at, very complex. We've got one, two, three. We're coming down, it's going to break this low. And then from that point, it will tell us whether they go back up like this, making this a big flat. See how this became a big flat for upside, right? It's gonna tell us whether that is going to happen or whether it is gonna drop and break this low. So those are the two lows you need to watch. So we can trade it down to break this low. Let's go to the one or those were good sell setups. You're still getting good sell setups. By the way, let me show you something that I forecast on, I think it was Monday or somewhere. See this where this came from? It came from here. So when we had this in my trading room, I said, guys, one, two, three, sell here. But when it break down here, watch it because we're going to get that move up. It's going to make a running flat kind of a pattern. And then it's going to start to drop. We did break the low. See, we broke the low here. So that pattern is completed. Take this off. So the sell here is down to break this low. Now that is completed. We can make, <clears throat> there are two more we can possibly look at. That is this possibility. This could go back up to the top there, make a bigger running flat, and then drop. See the small running flat? One, two, three. We can make it, and then you break the low. So we can go make a bigger running flat and then drop. Or you can make a bigger flat in here. Let me erase that. Or you can make a bigger flat like this here, something like this here, and then drop. Either way, it's a sell setup. But in this case, we might even get a buy setup. We don't have any buy setup right now. Any sell setup we will take. I would prefer if they do this. And then we get the sell setup from the top here. That would be an amazing trade. So let's see. Can it actually go back up to the top from here? Let's say go back, make a new height to the top here. It can, but I'm not looking at that. And there's a very, very good reason why that thing is only about 2% chance of happening. There's a 98% chance this is going to fall. I'm not going to go into that details here, but... When you understand pattern, you see that, right? Let's go. Pang in. Good. It went and it break the top as we expected because we were looking at this. I think I draw it and showed you. Watch this, this whole thing here. What is happening? That there's a chance we're going to go break the top because it looks like they're making a big running flat or something like that. It might be a little different than a running flat because the running flat might be only this part. This is the running flat. This is more of an impulse, a correction of its own here. And then the upside. But now you have to watch the top. Any cell setup you get from there, you should take, right? Any cell setup you start getting from the top there would be very good because we can come and retest this low. See, you can look at this as a possible one, two, three wave structure. Now, could this be one, two, three? This is the low and we are going up totally. It could be, but it's pretty strange that this one is so corrective. It has so much big corrections in it to be the final impulse. So when we see that, we're always cautioned that this thing could turn anytime. So when you're looking for your trade setups, as you can see, these were buy setups. This was a running flat. This one probably went away. This was a running flat buy. This was a running flat buy. You're making another running flat here. That's a buy setup. Now, one impulse up, take profit. One impulse up, start to consolidate, take profit. One impulse up, take profit. Because when you get the consolidation, you take the next impulse. But because you're the weekly top, that's a weekly, monthly top. You have to be careful, right? Because that's the point from where they start going up as a direction. There is still a buy setup. This is a buy setup here. You do have yen is still going up. So this means this might push one more up. And you have to be very careful because what if it just tags the top and turn? Put a stop here to exit that trade. If you're going to trade it, I'm not saying you should trade it. I'm just telling you, if we're going to trade it. We'll try to get out for break even if it turns because we definitely will be selling it. Aussie yen. Also buy setups for now, 
this was a small buy setup. You can see there's making a bigger flat there. That would be a buy setup. We're making a bigger flat there. That would be more upside. Short term, take your profit off. By the way, Aussie could go up more because the Aussie dollar correction could be finished. I don't think this is finished correction. It's but too small. Compared to this, to the up move, this correction is really small and I think it's incomplete. I don't think I, I don't think we looked at it many times and I don't think this is all. That doesn't seem to make sense. But I might be wrong on that because it's going really sharp to the upside and that's a surprise for me. If you look at my forecast, you would see me forecasting this, breaking the top here, not breaking the top, coming back to this low, going back there, making this flat, making this flat, come back here and then go. But it broke the top and we still thought we'll have a running flat. Well, it actually went up without that. No problem. You didn't have to buy the Aussie yen. There were many options, euro yen, dollar yen. Those were where you can put your money and make money. And that's what we did. And there were a number of other pairs. You could have bought Aussie and make money, right? So you don't have to, even if you're not sure about this, you don't have to trade this one in specific, right? You just watch it go. And now you wait. I don't, I still don't see this as all the correction. So at some point we may have a complex long, long drawn out running flat. We'll just wait and see. Right now it's a buy setup. We're buying though. We're buying slowly. Like not this one we bought. This one here you can buy. You can buy this once it's finished. It's, it's incomplete at the moment, which means it's gonna come down first. It's probably we're gonna come down here, make a flat and go up one more. Aussie, New Zealand. Okay, we're finally breaking out of that structure. So if it breaks out of this structure, it becomes a buy, right? This becomes a buy setup and the buy should be way to the top, right? Way to this top. When it gets there, we'll figure out what it's doing, right? Because you've got this one, two, three down, you're getting one, two, three up and you have this sharp movement. I don't think that's all the correction. I think there is a good chance we get another one, two, three down. And then probably when you have one, this could, this is, well, this will be one, two, three, you still have to go back up there and then come down. So we're just going sideways literally, but you can buy it back to the top there, right? So start looking for buy setups. You're breaking out every flag you get, you can buy. Can it still come back in this structure and make a new low before it goes back up? It's possible, but you will see that. Aussie Swiss. Okay, this one you bought, you close, it's still going sideways and it become a bigger sideways, take that off. It just became a bigger sideways. So I think this one will probably come back here, maybe make a more complex pattern in here and then take off. It's more of a bigger flat forming, a bigger correction before you go. Can it be this is a running flat here and they take off? If we get a flag here, buy. if we get a flag here, we'll buy it. If it makes a flag here, we'll buy it because I'll assume that this is a running flat. That's a possibility. It's not a perfect one, but if it goes, that is some, something you can look at. Aussie CAD. Okay, so we anticipate that this is going to come back down. If you take that trade, you close it. And now this is going to, this is very similar to what we have on the Aussie, I think it was the Aussie Swiss, Aussie yen, which was complected, complex. So we're looking at this here, and I don't think that's all the correction. It's too sharp, but it could be, right? So what we're looking for, we're buying this up. Now it's making a flat. So again, we have one move down. We have to come back here at least for a three wave and then go. Or it could be a five wave here and then go. It could be more complex than that and then go. So right now you're trading within this corrective structure here, right? Within this corrective structure. So if it's going to go down from this point, good for all of us. Put this in, put this line here. Wait for a flag here and then start selling. What if this is a running flat? What if this is a small running flat? It has to go back up and then you can buy above the top or any flag you get here. But if it consolidates here, that's definitely a sell. Any consolidation there becomes a sell setup. New Zealand Swiss, this is a buy. It's a short term buy, you can see that. You're gonna be buying this back to the top here. And it's a very good buy. You can see this one, how this was a good buy. So it's a short term buy back to the top. And at that point, two things could happen. It could literally break out of this structure literally break out, retest the top, or they could stop short of breaking out here and come back down back to the bottom here. Now, which one of those is going to happen? No idea. Once it's at the top there, you have to watch for both possibilities. I'm more inclined to the fact that it's going to come back down. 
right? Because remember I showed you the New Zealand pair that the New Zealand dollar could come back down, right? That's just my, my thought process of how it should develop. If it develops other ways, then we will see. We are still waiting for how it will develop, what we have. I'm just giving you my experience, guessed on my experience, basic guessing on the experience, right? Because there's nothing telling us that as yet. When it gets to this level, it will either do this and make flag, and then I'm correct about the reversal. That's more of a guess. Or it comes and make flag, and we will keep buying it all the way to the top. I wouldn't be trading my guess, right? I'm not, this is more of my choice of what I think it's going to do. We trade what the chart shows us, so we're buying right now. New Zealand CAD. Literally, this one is downside. You could have actually traded it from this point here. That was Friday. I wasn't in the trading room, but I hope my guys got that. I'm pretty sure they get it. And we, there's still another trade here with consolidates to come break the low. When it breaks the low, you have this. You have one, you have two, you have three. So here is the thing. That is a flat. You can look at that as a flat that will go back up, right? So when it comes to this level, this could be a flat that goes back up and out of the structure. If New Zealand dollar break out of the structure, this will go out. The New Zealand Swiss will go out. They're all at the top, right? So I will probably do a short video on all the New Zealand pairs because they're all exactly the very interesting part. Or this just makes flag and drop and drop and drop and drop back to the bottom like this. See? So which is it? Is it we're going to make flags and drop here? If we get flags, we sell, right? When it breaks this low, that's when you have to be cautious. So we're looking for a sell setup to break this low. And if we're lucky, they drop all the way to the bottom which gives us more cell setups. And from here, upside. If it breaks up, if it comes here in the turn, we will be in the buy to the upside and we'll stay with it. We'll buy in New Zealand, we'll buy New Zealand Swiss, we'll buy New Zealand CAD, and maybe New Zealand Yen will continue to go and there'll be more that we'll buy. So let's see what the New Zealand Yen is doing. New Zealand Yen is going up. That's a Yen movement. Again, that's a Yen movement, not the New Zealand movement. But it's going up, so great. Look for buy setups. I think this was a buy setup. This will be, look at them, a few buy setups there. Here's the thing. Is this all the correction or do we put it like this? We'll have to wait and see. That correction would be too small. In any case, that correction there would be too small. So the question is, how do you look at this pattern? If we think that this is all the correction in the bigger time frame, this would come to break that up. If we think that this is not all the correction, that this could be a one, two, three for an expanding flat, then this could come back and break the low. And both of those could be possible. Both of those could be correct until it proves one, right? So every flag you get, you buy until you break the top and then the first version proves correct. If we turn, we start selling and the second version proves correct. Now that depends on whether yen goes break the top or yen turns now, because it's, it's driven very strongly by the yen. So right now you're getting a consolidation here a small consolidation, that's one more up. I don't see the sell setup as yet. The sell setup would have come if you had a sharp drop like this and you start to consolidate here, that would be the sell. So right now it's actually upside. Swiss yen, same, all yen pairs, you're making a flat here, that's upside. All right, small trade upside. This could come a little more, but it's most likely consolidating here for upside. We don't have the turn as yet to the downside. Although this is also a weekly top. If you look at the bigger structure, that's a weekly top, right? This whole, this was the up move. This was the down move. That's the up move. We're breaking this top quite a lot. Are we coming back deeper into this move? Well, I don't think so, but we're breaking the top. Breaking the top and then coming down back is not a big deal, right? Look at this one. One, same structure. Follow this. One, two, three. One, two, three. See this one broke the top of this move. We broke the top of this. Uh, well, we are not going to break the top of this down move. I don't think that will happen, right? This down move is this one, right? If you're looking at those two, this is the first down move. This is the first down move. You made one, two, three. You broke the top. Do we think this is going to make one, two, three and go break this top? I don't think so. That's a long way to go, right, to break that top. But they can come back down to this level and break out or go back up there. So like this came down back and then go. So I think this at some point will come back, break this low here and then go back up or either keep dropping. I don't think keep dropping is an option, go back up. So now that you're at the top there, you start, you keep buying, but you buy with caution. You take off your profit every time. 
So it's a buy setup. It's looking, making consolidation. Take a while to consolidate here. Shorter term, there's a sell setup there, but that's very short. Then you'll probably do this and then you get a buy setup. See? Let's go. Cat Swiss. Okay, you're at the top, so don't do anything here until it breaks out, until it breaks out of this structure or the possibility is they're going to come back here. You see how many of them have really good setups? Right? So you're either going to get a big move to the downside or you're going to break out and go. So now you just have to wait for that to happen. Prove which one is correct. Me, I think downside. I'm actually betting more on the downside on this one because of this flat in here. So this is, again, my, me making my forecast based on experience, not what the chart is telling us. This could be all the correction. And this thing could be one, two, three, and keep going up. Right, that possibilities, but I'm expecting a more complex correction based on my experience. I'm saying to you that there's a high probability this comes back here first and then go back up. So we will still be in this correction. Well, let's see, we're at the top. We don't have to wait long for that to happen. Right, you're at the top, we'll see which one is correct. It doesn't matter which one is correct. We'll be trading the upside or we'll be trading the downside. That's what's important right now. So the important thing is whether you get the trade up or you get the trade down. Kadian, still upside, be careful. It doesn't have a setup for more upside like the other ones. It's just going up at that point. Even though the one or we don't have, and we're in this big corrective structure. Let's look at it in the weekly, you'll see it. Again, we have similar structures like that here. We have this, we have this, and we have this. This did break the low, unlike the Swiss, unlike the pound Swiss, unlike the, the Swiss yen, which didn't break the low. This broke the low. So can we look at this as the correction? If that's the case, then you have one, two, three, one, two, three. This is coming back to this top, right? It's going back to that top, and then it's going to come down because all of this is consolidation in this impulse, right? But if that is not the case, then this is an expanding flat. We come back to this level, then go back up. Which is it? Let's go back to the one hour. Wait for that turning point or wait for the correction and buy. We don't have a correction for a buy here. Right? We don't have it. If they pull back, you can make an argument whether this was a running flat. If that's a running flat, then wait for this to make a flag and then buy. See? If it starts to reverse, take any sell you get. And the Chinese one. It's coming down back as we expected, but it's not dropping immediately. So it's not dropping. They're actually going back up. They make a new high here. You're in this consolidation. And the higher they come into the top, the more you're making a flat for upside. You come back down like this, and then it's going to take off. Now, what if they break this top first? If they break the top first, they will come back as a running flat and then go from this point. See, which is it? I don't know. We'll wait and see. You can trade it up today, next week, tomorrow, and then you can actually trade it back down. So, hope all of you enjoy this. I hope it is helping you. If you're finding difficulty understanding the patterns, don't give up. Don't just make the, you know, Thing, oh, this doesn't work. This is all guessing. Go look at more of my videos. Try to understand them. If you don't, or if you think this is something you would like to do, contact me and I'll give you all the details on how you can join our group. You would have lifetime access to the group. So thank you for watching. Please share the videos and see all of you next week. Uh, tomorrow, I'll put out the, the second part with the cryptos. It will be out. Don't worry. You'll get the cryptos. And during the week, I'll put out more updates. So set up your notification. Get your notification in time and you'll get the trade. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye.